All right. Uh, hot. So I've been starting and stopping the car, driving around to, to and from work, just trying to get some brick and miles in it. The fitting for the oil line, I need a dash for and straight hose fitting. Um, getting parts right now is super hard. I ordered one from Amazon. It was supposed to arrive the same day. Got delayed. Um, ordered another one that was supposed to be 4 in and showed up and it was a 6 a.m. So it's still leaking onto the turbo. So I don't really get on it too much to really build any heat on, on there. Um, it just drips down. So it's annoying. It stinks. But um, so far everything's going pretty well. I'm trying to log as much as I can uh, of how it's running. I just changed the uh, driver's side O2 sensor. It was pretty lazy um, and would go faulty every so often. And I think that was throwing the, uh, the car off every so often. It just had a stumble in it. Um, so I'm going to try to log some of that stuff and see if I can find what is causing that, causing that to, uh, to happen. So we're going to go for a little another drive and uh, just get some more miles on it. for sure. The turbo's a lot louder. Okay, we are going to do our first highway uh, run, cruise. There's a car meet going on. There's some runs going on tonight. I don't plan on running tonight. I just want to get some highway miles on it. Um, the oil on the turbo is still burning off, so it's taking a long time to get it off. So running the car at night makes that a little bit easier to do. Don't scare everyone, so it's see smoke coming out of the hood. So I'm going to take it for a good highway boot. Hopefully nothing goes wrong tonight. We make it to the meet, chill, and uh, make it back home under its own power. So that's the goal. Um, we're not turning up this button. That is not supposed to happen tonight. But uh, yeah, it should be uh, should be a good test. Make sure everything working working great. We're just getting a wash, um, and I'll check back in later.
So, quick fuel stop, and I'm averaging right now about 270 to a tank. This is great.
big flames. After a long, disappointing day at the track, I'm home. The car just would not perform. Story of my life. But uh, I think with the new uh, lifters, I don't think I have the correct push out le length. I have stock ones in there now, they're stock length. Hardened push rods from TSP. But I don't think when I did the measurement that they're true. Uh, top end, I'm losing tons of power. And it just sounds like valve float. So I think I need to just double check that. Um, the car's running super, super hot. 
and I kind of figured out why with this car before I got it. Um, this has been hit front and backs, and it's why I got it so cheap. But all the inner plastic for the rad uh, support is gone, and my air dam is so bent it's not getting air in here. So with the turbo uh, manifolds, the crossover pipe, uh, even though I have them wrapped, I spray painted them about two years ago, I think roughly, uh, maybe a year ago on the gold stuff, but even still doesn't last very long to retain or keep heat out. So this thing is just baking in hot air everywhere. So it just doesn't funnel out. And if you can't get a heat out, this thing stays at temperature 220, 230, if I start getting into boost at all, it'll hit 235, 240, no problem. It'll come back down to about 220 and stabilize there. And then in traffic, it will go to get down to about 210, 206 um, if I'm just idling. But the heat's still trapped in here, and I need to really fix that. So that's another major, major, major issue that's got to be resolved. Um, to keep this thing happy at the point where it's tuned to be at like the 180, 190, and make tons of power safely at that point. Once it gets heat soaked, it's a dog. Um, getting the intake temps down and the methanol on helps a lot, yeah, sure, to make power, but uh, the heat alone just, the coolant temps are, are sky high, which means the oil is also ripping hot as well. So it's just, just baking and stuff that I just don't want it to, um, to make the power that I want to put the boost back up to. So I tried making passes at around like 8 pounds, about 12 pounds. I hit a little 18 pounds here to just make sure that it held, but the top end just isn't there. Um, so that's my, my concern now. It's just I don't have the top end that, that uh, it used to be. So that's it for now. I got a bunch of editing to do with stuff, content from way back when I first got the car back home with the brakes and the wrap. Uh, but I know a lot of people want to see how this ran and I'll put that other stuff uh, after the fact. Um, but this thing needs a complete cool down, check the fluids, check the oil, uh, and yeah, everyone's trying to run this car, everyone's expecting a lot out of it, I am too, and just at the track, it just doesn't, doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. I need to do the front calipers, um, front ones just can't hold for burnout burn long enough, it just pushes right through them. No matter what I do, I mash the, the brakes, put the line lock on, it just won't hold, they'll push right through, even though it's spinning. Uh, and that's a thing, I can't get heat into the tires, do a hard launch. Um, so this thing just hops all the way down. So, still battling that issue. And my mile per hour is down, that's the, the huge thing. This car before was trapping 135s to 137 uh, prior to uh, the motor, the bottom end letting go. So I know I have a top end issue, and the major thing that I changed this time was the lifters to the 210Rs, um, which do require a longer push rod, but I still think what I have in there is too short. Uh, so it just no size on the top end. And you just hear it sounds like valve float. So it just hits about 62, 63, past that, it just does nothing, and boost comes down. So I know something there just isn't quite right for the setup, and it doesn't want to want to go past that. If I shit the six grand, it's not too bad. I don't drop too much in uh, in power, but yeah, I want to I want to give it everything it's got, and I haven't been able to really do that ever since I put the turbo kit on. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one.